Hello! Today we are going to be looking back, or as a tribute, whatever you would like to call it, to uh, Batwoman, because Batwoman did get cancelled, made it three seasons, and then uh, WB slash Discovery decided to pull the plug because CW was up for sale, and I don't know if that has any tributing facts to it and all that. I don't really want to point fingers as just as yet because uh, there's still a lot of news that should come out about it and um, I do still hope somehow some way this show gets a new life like on HBO Max or something like that because I would like to see uh, the show end properly that's my that's my biggest gripe when shows don't get to end properly but um, we'll look through the two Batwoman seasons that I have and then I'll be um, talking about my favorite episodes from each season and then um, when the third season comes out I will be doing an unboxing video for that one as well but anyway without further ado shot we begin now it is actually very rare that uh, CW ends up canceling a show that makes it past its first season they've usually always let them a end on their terms and this is the first time in a very long time that CW has just flat out canceled the show they did this with Legends of Tomorrow as well which I'll be making my own separate video for that but this one I mainly just wanted to focus on Batwoman and uh, the things that I have about it so the f I do own the first season on Blu-ray this was a season that starred Ruby Rose before she ended up uh, quitting the show and one thing I I want to talk about with the show too is that it managed to uh, still find a lead and still find its own footing while um, the uh, their lead decided to quit so therefore they brought in uh, Ryan Wilder played by Javicia Leslie and honestly I do enjoy Ruby Rose's uh, portrayal of um, the Cape Crusader or the Crimson Cowl whatever um, I can't remember what they called her off of it but um, one of the best parts of this show, even though I, I've enjoyed all of it through and through, I do really enjoy it, but one of the best parts of this show is probably Alice. Like, I feel like uh, Rachel Scar uh, Starson, I might have uh, pronounced that wrong or said her last name wrong, but um, I feel like she really stole the show whenever she was on screen, and she was just such a joy to watch, and it is very sad that thinking, like, we're not going to be seeing Alice again, but I wanted to say that this season is pretty solid, I really do enjoy it, and then we'll get into my favorite episode from this season after we look at the second one that I own, and the second one that I own is Batwoman, the complete second season on Blu-ray, like I said, once the third season comes out, I'll definitely do an unboxing video for that as well, because even though the show ended prematurely, I am very happy that we got the three seasons that we did, because honestly, the show could have ended after season one after she quit, but no, they decided to find a new lead and continue which I was very very thankful for and uh, this was a season that uh, brought in Ryan Wilder as the main character they did the whole arc with what happened to uh, Kate and I really enjoyed the way that they decided to go about it and um, like it was actually very very interesting to see her like kind of get pushed into this world and all that and I feel like they handled it very well especially with the way that the first season left off because of COVID it left off with um, a surprise a big cliffhanger even though it wasn't the in intended one and um that's pretty much what they decided to do with it and once again alice just steals the show in this season and once again um black i don't know why i said once again but black mask is the villain and he he is so so much fun to watch and um the third season obviously is not out yet but um well we'll go backwards this time so for season three my favorite episode was definitely the finale that was um spoiler alert if you haven't watched about woman season three spoilers coming in and So my favorite part of that season was definitely um, when they had like that big face off up on the blimp. I feel like uh, the actor really understood like how the Joker should be for especially since he wasn't the real Joker. He was just kind of like the 2.0, which I really enjoyed. I was like, OK, that that is cool. I actually really, really did enjoy that. And um, if we go back to season two, my favorite episode from this season is... And it is, I would probably have to go with the finale again. The finale is just always so, so much fun to watch. And it's just pretty much the entire cast in one room together. And it's just, it is so, so, so much fun. And that is um, Batwoman Season 2. And then, uh, this probably won't come as a surprise to anyone. But um, my favorite episode from this one is...
actually the pilot. <laughs> I know that came as a surprise, but um, what I really liked about it is um, we really didn't get to know Ruby Rose that well at the beginning, like in the first episode, but the way that they introduced her and the way that they fully developed her story, I actually really, really enjoyed, and um, honestly, if they didn't have a fallen out, like, she does fit the character perfectly, and uh, like, the character of uh, Kate Kane, because um, Ryan Wilder are two very different characters, but I do feel like she fits the character of Kate Kane perfectly, and I was sad to see her go after the first season, but boy, did they make up for it in season two when uh, they got the other actress out, Wallace Day, to play Kate Kane because they look so alike, and that was actually one of the fan choices for the recast if they decided to go that route, but they didn't. But um, now, here comes the main question between the two. Who do I prefer, uh, Ryan Wilder or Kate Kane? I personally got to go with um, Ryan Wilder. Nothing against Kate Kane. I love that first season. I'll, I'll rewatch it again and again. But um, I real uh, because we probably got more time to know uh, Ryan Wilder. That's probably why I liked her a bit better. But there's no disrespect to uh, um, Kate Kane at all whatsoever. But that's really just how I felt about it. Um, let me know which lead you prefer down in the comments below. Not talking about like like, actor-wise, like, what they've done in their past and all that, or what happened behind the scenes, whatever that may be, just character-wise. But anyway, that is the two seasons that I own, and I can't wait to um, own the third one and unbox that one as well. And one of the final things that I got was um, the signature from uh, Nicole King. I don't know why I couldn't think of it off the top of my head, but um, I met her at a um, Comic-Con, and she was super, super nice, and um, I was really hoping that we would get a uh, fourth season with her, because season three was definitely her season, because we got to see the evolution from friend to foe, to spoilers for the third season, from friend to foe, and then back to friend, and I feel like she really captured that very very well, and I really, really enjoyed that. But anyway, um, that was just my little tribute to Batwoman. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe so I know to keep making more of these. If you have any video requests, please leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to reply, and um, let me know if you would like them to renew Batwoman as well down in the comments below. But anyway, thanks for watching as always, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye!